I like my camera is called prior restraint. My name's Chile. I'm a constitutional law scholar. This is a First Amendment audit. Take the light out of my camera. If you don't, I'll get your name and badge number and I'll file a federal civil rights lawsuit. Just like I've seen you twice before, this will be my third. You have the light pointing at my camera. Please turn it off. Feel free to move somewhere else. I don't have to move anywhere. I'm on a public sidewalk right here and you can do your job. Right, obstruction is a physical act. Wilson versus Nevada First District Court means that I have to physically obstruct you, have the intent to hinder, delay, or obstruct. This is a First Amendment audit. I've announced who I am. I'm on the sidewalk right here. I don't have to move. You have to move. I'm the boss here, not you. You take my orders. I'm in charge of you. You'll work for me. You understand that? Do you not get that? And him putting the light on right there obstructs my camera's view. That's called prior restraint. That's against the law. You chose to do this. What does that mean about you? That you're a beta male? No. That means that you need someone to tell you what to do every day. That means that you joined an organization where 75% of you are just scumbags. Are you the 25% that's good? The 10% that's good? Are you one of the good cops? How much your six months in county? Oh, I didn't do six months, I did four. And then my conviction was overturned on appeal, meaning I'm gonna get millions of dollars from you scum sucking That's what that means. I'm gonna get millions of dollars. That's what that means. So, so you already know who I am. So you already understand that obstruction is a physical act. See, and let me make sure I don't get in your way so you can do your job efficiently. Go terrorize people and steal their money. Scum sucking <laughs> The worst of all humanity is you. Thanks for not stealing their money. Thanks for not stealing her money. You're such a nice guy. You didn't steal her money today. Amazing. Get ready to dig into your pocket there, piggy. You're gonna have to pay. It's gonna come out of your money. Scum sucking Yeah, yeah, go yourself. You are a scum sucking dude. That's what you are, you're a pig. <laughs> yeah. Make no mistake about it. He's either trying to find a reason to arrest them or a reason to steal their money. That's what he believes his job is. I'm for ending 90% of pullovers, especially for silly things like blinker, modestly running a stop sign, protect yourself in the event that you are arrested. Because for a, a very long time, people have been filming and not telling the cop what they're doing. And I think that that has led to people being arrested and not having a way to fight back based on their constitutional rights. What I have done is I've set up a system for people so that when they get pulled over by the jackboot thug pigs, you either have to have a trifold in your visor or you have a cop card in your wallet, one or the other. And then you use this with your camera like a ninja warrior. So you take a copy of your license registration and proof of insurance so that you have everything prepared. You put it up in your visor just like that. When you get pulled over, your hands go to a touchdown position, just like this. This this elbow rests on that seat. This elbow rests in your windowsill. Cop comes up, says license, registration, proof of insurance. I got everything that he I have to require by law to give him right there. I just give that bad chicken to him. And then he says, you know how fast you were going? Where are you heading? Do you know why I pulled you over? It doesn't matter what he says. Because as soon as he says it, I say, I'm going to go ahead and plead the Fifth Amendment to remain silent. I don't answer questions. Please don't ask me another question about my attorney present or you violate your oath to the Constitution. And I sue police. So go write your ticket. Do what you got to do, Jack Blue Thug Pig. There you go. Eat my shorts, copper. And then within this trifold, it'll say it for you. Don't ask me where I'm going, where I'm coming from, where if I've been drinking, if I have a gun, I'll take no test. Everything I need to provide is in the slip that I already showed you. And then inside of this, if he says he smells Mary Jane, if he wants you to get out of the car, if he wants your driver to get, if you want the passenger to get out, he says, hey, you can't film me. You have a right to film cops. Cop says, is that a threat? Because you tell him to go F himself, Chaplinsky. And the biggest one on here that I've used several times, I've used it several times with several different people is revoke consent. If I give consent, I can revoke consent. 
while filming, you have to be filming. If you know the cop is going to search your car and you initially give consent, you can revoke that consent moments later. However, you must be unequivocal, clearly stating, I gave consent and now I revoke consent. Stop searching my car. That's how it works. I've done it. I've walked up to stops where they're searching someone's car, walked up to the owner of the car and said, why are they searching your car? Did you give him permission? He goes, yeah. I said, tell him out now, out loud. I revoke consent. Stop searching my car. The, the guy says, I revoke consent. Stop searching my car. And then I turn on the cop and I say, that's it. Stop searching. You heard him. Do it. When you say, officer, I revoke consent and they can stop searching your car. You, United States versus Williams, 2018. Tell him right now, I revoke consent. Stop searching my car. Say it out loud and they have to stop immediately. Okay, cool. You've got to be tough. You got to follow the rigid set of policies, procedures, and protocols that I'm teaching you. This trifold is a golden goose, my friends. It is a golden goose, and it will lay the golden egg that you don't have to go to jail. On the non driver card right here, here's the non driver card. Number one, cop cited, you say, I invoke 1A. Number two, cop approaches, says any words, I invoke my Fifth Amendment right to remain silent. You, you got to do it exactly on the step-by-step. -step. Got to be set up just like that. Set up for success just like that. Completely set up. To get the trifold and cop cards, go to my website, www.projectconstitutiontiktok.com.